Because when a woman knows that you will take whatever she does and let her get away with it, she has no respect for it. Simple as that. You out there being a sucker, and we're and we're told be upfront, open, honest with women. Tell her your feelings. No, I'm telling you, hold stuff back from women. Don't tell them everything. Do not tell a woman that you know what. I, whatever you do, I love your dirty draws. You could do whatever, and I'll take you back. No, 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 no. First-hand experience. That doesn't work. When you when you check a woman, when you let them know that you are the catch, not them. You put you put them on your schedule. You make them jump through hoops to get to you. They are mentally engaged and enjoy that kind of stuff. Like I used, like I told you, said the other day. Guy was like, well, you can't walk by and smack a woman on her butt today because the game is so messed up. This way, I'm like, when's the last time you tried it? When's the last time you walked up to a woman in a bar or any place? I'll give you an example. Monday, I was in Starbucks. Drop dead, gorgeous woman standing in front of me. She's got headphones on. I don't know this woman from a can of paint. She's ordering her stuff. And I say, and I, I hold my cup up. I was like, I'll have the normal and beauty here is going to pay for it right that woman looked at me she's like excuse me i was like oh i told you i told him it was on you because you got your starbucks I mean, you're beautiful oh yeah i got it a part of me said oh don't let her pay don't let her pay don't let her pay what yes now see the 20 something year old version of me would have took her outside oh yeah would that would have went somewhere but the 40 year old in me that has gone through the simp pimp simp stage you got to get that simp up out of you and here's one of the easiest ways to do it we got to start hanging around more men men by themselves we are we're like snipers pick off people alone look that woman wanted to pay for my drink i mean and here's the thing i ordered my drink i i ordered my my pastries her drink was like four bucks with my total it came up to fourteen dollars I saw the guy ring it up and, and the lady had stepped off to the side. She was gonna pay for my stuff and not have a problem with it. And part of me was like, oh, don't let her do it. Don't let her do it. That's not a good man. But I was like, okay, hold on, don't do it. Let's just see what happens. Just see what happens. She said, oh, enjoy that. Oh, by the way, introduced herself, asked me, uh, was about to give me her card. I was like, uh-uh, here's my number. I gave her my number. I resisted. She called me two hours later. The point is this, guys. Women like assertive men. I did not know that woman. I didn't need her to pay for that. I was just shit testing her. <laughs> I was just seeing what was going to happen because I was in a happy mood. But that reminded me of things that I already know. To think we live in a world where there are no rules and you can go around and say what you want and just keep it real. Keeping it real can keep you broke. But that even reinforces the message. The fact that I can't tell you as a man things that I know that are successful. I didn't I didn't take advantage of anybody. I didn't do anything. That woman was attracted to me. She looked at me in a certain way. I knew that there was something going on. So let me round this back to the oh, to the to the point I want to end on. Men, we need if you're a man living in the city right now and you're having trouble with women, first off, you need to stop listening to women. You, stop, you need to stop listening to married men and men in relationships. Don't listen to them. You need to listen to the single guys. <laughs> married men, as a married, my, my focus as a married man or a man in a relationship, it was completely different than my focus as a single guy. Thought completely differently. My motivations are completely different. You need, men need to start hanging around with more men. If you go out, go out with two or three guys. Learn how to work together. The reason why we would go out uh, in college parties, on college campus parties, and everybody will walk away successful scoring that night is because we all know how to, we all knew the rules. It was like Top Gun. We knew how to play the wingman. Sometimes you had to go talk to the, the fat, ugly chick so your boy could get laid. That's what you had to do. But it was all successful because you see, four women, if there's a group of seven guys, every guy is going to score. You've seen this thing being enforced in Top Gun, A Beautiful Mind. This is not new knowledge. But as men, after we leave college, 
and go work our careers, live in the city. We don't have male relationships, so we end up going out by ourselves. Yeah, you can look good, smell great and everything else, but unless you are an extremely confident, intelligent and assertive man, you will lack the real world experience or the real world information to go out there and challenge your beliefs and try these things on your own. That's why a lot of people work with pickup artists because the pickup artists can actually take them out into the world and show them how it works. We have to unlearn what we've been taught, first of all, period, point blank, end of sentence. If you're born after 1970, you have to unlearn what you've been taught. And especially if you're raised in the United States, if you're raised in the black community in particular, and if you have a single parent household, a black woman raising you, yeah, you've been taught this. I am woman, hear me roar, strong, independent, blah, 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 all that crap's in our head. Women don't like that. Guys who are confident do better. But there's a difference between confident and egotistical. Egotistical guys are like Donald Trump. Donald Trump, is, he's a perfect example of alpha male behavior, but it's egotistical. You can know you're egotistical when you can't listen to good information and make a change. See, guys who are confident can listen to good information, take in good information and make a change because they'll know it'll get a better outcome. Egotistical guys, it's my way or the highway. If your mindset is still feminized, simpish, you are gonna still end up simping behind a big booty apple bottom. You, you can be a simp and a sag all at the same time. You can be simping in a fitted or a snapback. You can be simping in Timberlands. You can be simping in, a, in an Armani suit. Simp is a mindset. I can walk around just like this in my my man bag. The guys will sit for some guys be like, I dig that. Oh, some guys be like, man, no homo, that's gay. You know what? I've told you this before. All the times I hear guys saying that kind of stuff, I laugh at them because I'd be smashing their girl. Bottom line, I know me. I'm confident in me. I know what I am. I'm assertive and I go for what I want. Guys, you have to learn to go for what you want too.